Today's news headlines for tourists are currently among several individuals who were hurt during a Trelawney car collision. According to reports, four tourists were traveling to a hotel on the north coast and they are currently among six individuals who were taken to the hospital following a two-vehicle collision on the Duncan's main road in Trelawney. The driver of the Toyota Highest minibus in which the tourists were traveling, along with the driver of a Mangold Nissan AD wagon, have also been taken to the hospital. According to reports, close to 9 p.m. on Saturday night, the driver of the AD wagon was heading towards Montego Bay when he lost control of the car and had a collision with the Highest minibus. The driver of the wagon had to be removed from the vehicle. According to reports, his legs were seriously hurt. He had apparently been thrown into the front passenger seat by the impact and was pinned for some time before he was extracted by passerbys and conflagration professionals using heavy equipment. Two men lost their lives while two others were hurt during a shelling incident in St. James. A youth of 19 is currently among two persons who lost their lives during separate incidents in St. James on Friday. The persons who lost their lives include Damian Smith, a laborer from Flanka, and a 22-year-old man known as Kemar Redplate Offenden, a pushcart operator of Pit 4. Two other men, a 22-year-old of Paradise Norwood and a 23-year-old of Farm Heights, both delivery men, were hurt during a shelling incident and are currently hospitalized in serious condition. Another pushcart operator, who the police have only identified as Hoghead, is being sought in connection with one of the loss of life incident. Reports are that shortly after 10 p.m. on Friday, Smith and the two delivery men were walking along Seaview Drive in Flanker when they were pounced upon by a group of dangerous individuals. The dangerous individuals opened shelling, hitting all three persons before escaping on foot. Residents in the community called the police and the men were taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital in St. James, where Smith was pronounced by the medical team and the other two were admitted in serious condition. Earlier on Friday, the Barnet Street Police reported that close to 4.40 p.m., often them who operated a push cart at the Charles Gordon Market in Montego Bay, was involved in a disagreement with Hoghead. Hoggett reportedly used a sharp instrument to cause harm to Offenden and his upper areas before escaping the scene. Offenden was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital by vendors at the market, where he passed away while being treated by the medical team. According to the police, they have commenced investigations into both incidents and have identified a main suspect in the market incident. They say that he is presently being sought by the police. The reports indicate that since the start of the year, 127 persons have lost their lives in the parish of St. James, despite curfews being imposed in the hotspots of Granville and two zones of special operations in Norwood and Mount Salem communities. Jella Brownberg is now the PNP's first female chairperson. On Saturday, the members of the National Executive Council voted for the PNP to elect Dr. Angela Brown Burke, the Member of Parliament for St. Andrew Southwestern, as the party's first female chairperson, and this has come as a shock to many senior comrades who contend that the party needs someone who will unite and not divide. Brown Burke defeated Horace Daly, who was acting in the position since July 2021 when the former chairman. Philip Paulwell, who was also vice president, decided to resign from both posts. Now, the twice lucky Brown Burke, who had supported Mark Golding's victorious presidential campaign in 2020 against Lisa Hanna, will take the reins to play a central and key role in leading the charge to bring together this still divided party. Many have noted that they hope that for the party's sake, they wish her the best and they hope that she will unite in an effort not to prove that the delegates have made an error. They said that Dali was a clear choice. Another person mentioned that they wish her luck in bringing the Portia, the Peter and the Bunting along with the Hannah and Golden groups together as one in this very divided organization. Many have mentioned that Brown Burke's public disagreements with her own comrades have been cited as warnings 
that the delegates continue to ignore. But in her acceptance, the PNP released a message to state that Brown Burke said that she and Daly had agreed at the onset that they would conduct their campaigns consistent with the democratic principles of the party. They both committed to run decent and mutually respectful campaigns. It was also further stated that Brown Burke is proud that they have managed to achieve same. It's further stated that both Brown Burke and Daly gave their commitments towards uniting and strengthening the party. The election, which was held at Kendall Camp and Conference Center in Manchester, saw Brown Burke polling 147 votes to Daly's 120. Daly was gracious in defeat. He said that it was with great respect that he would like to present the new chairperson of the People's National Party, Comrade Angela Brown Burke. Senator Dr. Floyd Morris has been appointed as the party's new deputy chairperson as well. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.